Hey ho! So I thought I might as well film it because, uh, well, not filming a lot of making, doing stuff things. So I already started. It's like uh, two wooden pieces. Whoa, whoops. Uh, and the idea. The idea is a bit like a CBT. Well, it is, it is a, a line source that acts like a point source, sort of, almost. Uh, and the directivity uh, and the well, it, it remains the same output no matter where you're stand in distance as well, which is crucial if you compare to just a normal line source. Um, it uses delay and shading. Uh, shading is in this case is like some of the drivers are playing less loud than others. This is a ground plane CBT. At least it should be. So it's, it will be standing like this. A bit weird. It doesn't fit here, but something like this. But I, um, this is really. I could make a CBT ground plane thingy if I just bought bought the same loudspeakers that uh, uh, the guy that I believe invented it, or at least did a lot of research uh, with it, Keeley. He also has kits, I believe. If the drivers are even available still. But of course, uh, I'm not so much interested in drivers, but I thought maybe I can use this somehow with a ribbon. Could that work? And uh, some questions probably pop up like, how do you attenuate the parts of the ribbon? We'll get to that. But first, I made this frame. It's made out of two parts. This one is loosey-goosey, while the other one I had to like Use a mullet. I believe I cut this one, this one faster, I think, on the machine, much faster, which resulted in a kind of not enough cutaway or the other way around. Who knows? I think it has to do with something like that because drawing itself is exactly the same, so I don't know why one would work and one would not work. I mean, this works as well, just have to add some bloom. Which is impossible to do with this one because I uh, used a hammer to put them together. Uh, let's see, what shall I use? I bought finally a new Mitre Fast kit. Okay. Mm, now I have to think. I'm gonna put accelerator on here. And the glue on here. I'm a bit, I don't know what I, I've got too much energy, although I didn't sleep well. So I don't know where that's coming from, but didn't eat well either. Mm. Oh, this stuff got so nice. This really looks amazing. Really love this MDF. This is how it came off the machine. I didn't clean anything up. So now I'll just put it in here fast and clean it a bit. Now hopefully I didn't glue it to the table, which is probably the case. No, not really. Oh. Okay. Whew. That stuff smells. <clears throat> I glued paper towel to my hand, of course. Okay, that's one part. Then. There's a small transition here, which I'll remove with a chisel. From the other way around, because...
Cool. Um, so I'm gonna mount these two pieces with this uh, these bars, threaded rods, and then I have. two pieces of wood that will sit here and here not gonna glue them in place I think not yet at least and they will uh, house the these things hopefully it fits it does I have to find the inserts for it Jesus, I'm. Hmm, you can see in some light directions, you can see a pattern of the cutter. That's how hard this material is. I used a one flute cutter and run it rather fast <clears throat> five meters or something per minute. For a four millimeter bit, it's quite high, I think. But it leaves a pattern. Slightly visible in the correct light. I need the shitty ones. Yes. There's another shitty one. I feel a bit like Eek today. <laughs> You know, from South Park. Eek. The one that drinks coffee all the time. I had a lot of coffee as well today. Okay, so they will fit here. With this on top. And then hopefully one of these blocks will fit. It's to uh, grab the ribbon. Squish it. So that's all fine. Let's load these up with magnets. So it, I, what I did is I used FEM. Um, so, well, let me say, this is kind of almost the same dimensions as the CB45, CBT45 from uh, Kiel. He uses very tiny drivers and I thought, could you do the same sort of with a, a ribbon? It is kind of continuous, except for where it has to bend, of course. Um, but I could maybe, but that's for much later on, use some bias to make it a really an arc, which would be really cool. No supports needed, although maybe not enough. But I begin with supports because it's just easier. So in these holes I got an aluminium tube somewhere that I didn't test if it fits. This tube could be a tighter fit actually. I thought this time I'll make it a little bit wider so it fits but... <laughs> I chose 0 0.1 something too many. So I can use this as a support for the ribbon, maybe add some something that is soft. So it like doesn't make sound. Uh, but yeah, in the end I could might maybe bias it, which would be really wicked, but let's first the basics. A ribbon is of course a long continuous speaker thing, so there's no way to uh, attenuate. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attenuate with the amount of magnets I'll use in the different portions. But uh, I'll look it up what I thought it should have been. Be right back. Uh, so there is a part that is uh, zero dB attenuation then 3, then 6, then 12, then 15. 
Now, the problem is that the 3 is going to be fine, but the 6 dB should be a little bit wider than I used. It's because my magnets are too long. Uh, and I didn't want to make the arc much different. Ah well, it comes close. Let's see what happens. I mean, maybe it doesn't work at all to begin with. I mean, it's all material I have laying around, so... Who cares? Uh, magnets. I need some magnets. I got three here. I need a bit more than that. Have a few. Oop. So. I think accelerator on this is by the way remount. I don't need this. Accelerator on here and then dump on magnets with glue, I think that's the 